Good morning. Um, it's early again, but you know, I decided I'm going to end up making some uh, pancakes. Uh, so I have to, I'm holding my camera right now. But normally, to keep from having to think about what all goes in pancakes and things like that, I usually try to put them into a mason jar. And so I have a couple of mason jars out. And so I have some of my ingredients, which of course I have my all-purpose flour, some baking powder and baking soda out. And then I'm gonna end up, some of them, I will, I put a, maybe a little sugar in there and salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my basic uh, pancake mix so that when, my husband is a breakfast person, so he loves pancakes and waffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a basic salt. Sometimes if I don't feel like cooking, he might feel like making some pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm trying to stay out of the video as much as possible because it's early in the morning and I still have on PJs because it's chilly today. So um, I'm just gonna be making the basic um, buttermilk pancakes. And it takes a one cup of flour, which of course I have some all purpose flour over here. And so I'm gonna all kind of stuff out here right now but i'm gonna be using these mason jars just to pre-make my pancake mix so that i won't have to think about getting up in the morning and doing a whole lot of what i'm doing right now which is putting stuff together the biggest challenge with cooking sometimes is just actually getting everything made cut up diced or what have you i'm gonna be making some stewed chicken later but um so that's one cup of all-purpose flour and since this uh, jar I just use for pancake mix as well I actually could use a smaller uh, container which I actually have some but I'm just going to use it because I have a lot of jars that's uh, empty and I don't want to waste anything I want to make sure that we are using what we have in our cabinets um, so that my husband won't have me running out eating out all the time. So we're gonna say a cup of um, all-purpose flour. And I love to have my music playing, so I'm gonna probably have to stop this video in a few and have my background music. I love listening to um, soft music, no matter, especially when I'm cooking or preparing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cup in each one of these jars. jars, which I'm going to go ahead and use them. That way, you know, you don't have just flour sitting in your cabinet. You're actually making it into something. So, actually this morning, I probably would end up making some uh, banana pancakes because I have some bananas. And my husband, they're actually delicious. And so we have uh, some bananas and blueberries in the freezer, but I have some bananas out now. So we have a cup of flour, and then it's gonna be a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm gonna get my tablespoon. My sugar is right here. That's one. Thing to use for this. Just put a tablespoon in here, each one of them. Okay, that's done. And then I need one fourth teaspoon of salt. And let me see if I have a fourth teaspoon out. I don't think I do. So I'm gonna have to get my to keep my items in a little baggie like this, just to keep them together. And so that's an eighth. And then uh, let's see if I can find me a fourth teaspoon. There we go, a fourth. I'll just leave this bag out. Fourth teaspoon of salt. And so my salt is over here. And actually, since I'm no longer using the flour, I'm gonna go ahead and put this, get this out of my way. I have quite a few um, Tupperware containers. All the way, but I'll close it in a minute. But anyway, 
Let me get my music playing in the background. Okay, I'm back. So, let me get my four teaspoon of salt. Oh my goodness, I just laid that thing down. I need to get this other stuff out of the way. And since I should have had it, normally I would put it in little bowls like this, just so that it's already ready. But since I'm doing this on camera, I don't want to waste it all, so I'm leaving, I'm putting it over a cup. So, so that I can use it. And actually, I'll be getting ready to run to the gym this morning. I have a personal trainer. Well, it's an introductory trainer, per se. So it's a fork and salt. And since I have a, quite a bit in this cup, I might just try to use that. So I don't have to keep pouring it out. But yeah, it'll work out, actually. that and then I'll use a tablespoon of baking powder I'm sorry a teaspoon of baking powder I said that wrong and I have baking powder here but I also have it in this container that's already open so soda I need one half teaspoon of baking soda one half teaspoon and so my baking soda is let me get this over here I have the baking soda opened up already so I have it labeled one half teaspoon I find that this works out a lot better like I said than me having to get up all the time trying to make um, pancakes. It's already pre-made, at least if the dry ingredients are pre-made, per se. I mean, I could do the wet ingredients because actually the only thing that you need for the wet ingredients, what I normally do is I label my jar. So that this is a, this is a large jar here. So because I have, it's already empty, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I probably should have used. I have quite a few of these jars. So I should have used these jars because it would have been perfect for the pancake mix. And I may just do that as well. But um, so see how this is just a dry ingredients. That's all you need is a dry ingredients. And then um, the recipe calls for one large egg, one cup of buttermilk, one fourth cup of whole milk. And since we don't use whole milk, we would use 2% um, milk. And then we do, with, I mean, I would do a, a two tablespoons of unsalted butter. So that's what the recipe calls for. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, uh, mix this up, since it's already in here, everything's in here. And as you can see, um, I actually have this label, it's an old label that was on here. So <clears throat> you just mix it up. And then when I'm ready to use it, I'll just pull it out of my cabinet and um, mix my wet ingredients with it. And then I'll use my griddle and make pancakes. So I'm going to get started because I'm going to make some pancakes this morning. But actually, you know what? Since I already have, this is already done. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put these to the side for a moment. And I'm going to mix a few more jars, smaller jars, since I have them and uh, I'll come back. Well, I didn't want to be off camera too long, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this together in the smaller jars, which is really uh, makes sense since I have them available. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same thing with it. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of flour because I have it for a bread flour. <laughs> I have a little bit of every kind of flour pretty much. So and I need to start using it. I don't care if it's to bake pancakes, waffles, cake, uh, cakes, cookies, whatever. I need to start using it. One. container here which is good because I actually have another bag of flour that I haven't put in this con in a container so I need to go ahead and make sure it's being used and sometimes when you don't um if you're not gonna use your flour right away you post it put it in the refrigerator so that you know you won't have any issues with bugs and things like that but um I haven't had any problems to be honest with you at least I've never seen any bugs But it help. It would help if you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. It would kill any type of bug, lava, or what have you that's in your um, product. So listen, I don't have a lot left in this container. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use finish using this up, and then I'm gonna use some of the all-purpose flour that's in that container. So much mess going on, particularly with flour and things like that. So we're gonna move this. Okay. And I don't want to make this video extremely too too long because sometimes when you make these long videos, oh my goodness, it takes forever to upload. So we're gonna be cognizant of that. I'm currently adding the salt to. I've already added the sugar to the jars which was a tablespoon. That's a fourth teaspoon of the salt. And I'll be back. Again, I'm using a teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, this is the baking soda. Okay. And now you don't use anything else. Um, because that's when the wet ingredients come into play. And that's one egg, one cup of buttermilk, one four cup of milk, and then two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay, what you see now is I'm actually gonna label my jars. I have this little labeler. And so I'm gonna label it, I'm just gonna label it pancakes. And then I'm gonna print. I'm gonna label all of them pancakes because actually you can use buttermilk or you can use regular milk, but I normally use buttermilk, and then sometimes uh, if I don't have buttermilk on hand, um, I have what's called this um, buttermilk curd, buttermilk blend. You can actually make mix it just with water, and it'll make buttermilk. Or you can probably take um, a teaspoon of uh, 
Uh, if you had regular milk, you could probably use uh, vinegar or something to make the milk sour. So, but normally I could just use something like this and make buttermilk. And so I would just mix it up, cut my label. It's just labeled pancakes. Sometimes I take off half of this because it prints out so much extra stuff of the label I don't necessarily need. So, uh, do I have a scoop? I think I do. So normally I'll just take off some of that. And I would probably put out several of them, but I would also, sometimes I label mine, not only pancakes, I actually put my ingredients on. So if it calls for one egg and milk or what have you, I would actually put that on here as well. So I could do it here and also I would probably do it right here. So I actually would put, I actually might use a, a label, um, a label that I can write on and label that. Uh, because other than that, this would take up too much. So what I'll do is I'll just label the pancakes and then print. Let me see, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine. So I'm going to print out. Well, actually, you know what? I don't want to. Yeah, I can print it all together. I'm going to print out nine. Because no matter what, I don't know how to adjust it to um, print out less. Look, that's a lot of, look, that's a lot of label. I don't like it that it does that. I don't know how to do it. a lot of label that could be used for something different, so. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just use it and put my label on there. See you in a little bit. So as you can see, uh, here are all the jars that uh, I made, which is pancakes. And so I'm going to be mixing up some pancakes this morning. It's about 8 o'clock, and I got to get out of here by 10, so I'm going to get moving. I'm going to go ahead and put away my mess and uh, put it in the sink so I can clean my dishes. I like to clean my dishes uh, after I, uh, well, while I'm making my mess, I still like to clean my dishes while I'm doing stuff. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to give you an idea of how my cabinet is. This is one of my side cabinets. And so I have pancake mix. I have waffle mix in there. I have cornbread already pre-mixed uh, some southern biscuits uh i have dried mushrooms some quick oats in the back and so this is just give you an idea of what you can do as you can see um i use the wrong jars for the pancakes because i don't make large quantities because it's just two of us in the household and even if my son was home this would be enough pancakes for us so, so, okay i love this thing it's heated up right now because i'm gonna have to warm my butter up in here my microwave went out a week ago and it's been a challenge trying to get someone in here to repair. I've had repaired three times, I'm not going to do it anymore, so I've just ordered a new microwave and we're going to have to have them installed since it's actually in my cabinet. So I hope it's not a special order where they have to cut my cabinet off, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm being warming up with my brother in here. Uh, sometimes you have to improvise and use different kitchen gadgets. To accomplish your mission. This is also something else I'm trying out in my kitchen. I have a little, I guess you call it a silicone mat to keep from making a mess inside of my unit, which I'm learning to do because these can get pretty grimy and it takes a minute to clean up. So we're gonna see how it works out. Okay, I'm setting my unit for four minutes. And let's see. Hopefully there won't be any splatters or anything inside. If not, maybe next time I'll put so, something over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start it. I'm gonna Put my mix in. Get all of it. Okay. I'm gonna add my egg. Ready, but as well, I'm not going to keep stirring because I don't want to over stir it. So I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla. This is the vanilla, the vanilla that I make. Oops, this. Might be a little bit much for a small amount of pancakes.
looks like my butt. Let's see that. We like our pancakes sort of thin, so um, when you add more liquid to it, it actually thins out the pancakes. And so I'm actually gonna start heating up my griddle. So in the background, I'm starting to heat up my griddle so that it can start to get hot. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna use this butter knife because I don't wanna make any more dishes. That's a banana. Then I'm gonna use What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually put my bananas inside of my batter. Normally I would mash them a little bit as well, but have them hold gives it a good flavor as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm only gonna probably use, I think one should be enough. I think one should be enough. So I have more bananas if I need to. You can actually um, use this at the very end if you want to. You could just put it on top of your pancakes, but um, I think it is. Okay, let's cut it off. Let me get a towel so I can um, pick it up. I'm actually gonna put this, normally you just wanna heat it a little bit, but it's already hot, so I'm gonna put this butter inside my batter. And it was hot. I'm just gonna put these bananas in there too. I don't want to over because it's fairly thin. So I'm going to let that heat up and we'll see how this comes out. Put my pan. I'm going to get my dishes ready so I can clean them. And my jar. And this right here. I'll be back. Okay, my griddle is heated up. I don't know if you can see this or not, because my camera's backward, so I can't see what you see. But um, we're gonna put this on the griddle, go from there and see how. Let me see, I can move this out the way. Mm. And then I can move this over. I love this griddle. And if it's not hot, don't worry about it. It will eventually will get there. And you know when your pancake is ready to flip over when it's all bubbly. these in my dishes and my dish pan and get ready to clean this up off. I'll clean up stuff along the way. you how it's cooking. These are banana pancakes I have on the griddle and so it's almost time to flip them. And 
Actually, I could have made these thinner so they won't be so thick, but that's okay. It all works out. Banana pancakes, good and yummy in the morning. That's if you like bananas. If not, you can use um, berries like blueberries, if you like blackberries. I mean, you can put strawberries on top. I don't know if I would cook it inside my batter, but bananas are good. So um, just a way to make something different for breakfast. And for me, I might just eat one. I don't eat too much of this, but I make these mostly for my husband and I'll have leftovers uh, so he can have it for the next day. And the goal is not necessarily to cook every day. Plus I have some things I gotta cook later, which might be stewed chicken and some chicken wings or something like that. My son is coming in town, so looks like I'm gonna be cooking. So as you can see, the banana pancakes are cooking up really nice. They're about done. I'm gonna put in the rest of the batch and complete this so that my husband can eat. See you soon. Thank you for subscribing to my station, my channel, and uh, more to come. See you soon. Well, this batch is ready. And I want you to know something about me that you probably will see me using a lot of paper plates because um, we hate to make the dishes. It seems like I make a ton of dishes just from cooking. So, but it really doesn't matter, but we're gonna eat, we're gonna use some paper plates today, for real. Um, because, like I said, I don't like to do dishes, but it seems like I'm doing them anyway. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my husband tasting my pancakes this morning. He over here accusing me of making gluten-free pancakes. Well, I haven't tried that yet, but I am gonna be doing one. But there's some bananas on there. So how taste it, Mr. Davis? Really good. Oh, okay. Give you the bing bang bah! <laughs>